Hello everybody, welcome to Kuala Lumpur and welcome to Kampung Baru inside of Kuala Lumpur and we're here in a, in a very popular local food place, a Malay food place, a Nazi Champur place and the, the place is called the restaurant Gerak Dua Pulu Tiga which has something to do with two and three I think. Anyway, so we're early, see? There's still lots of plenty of seats around to have but it is a it's a it's a very popular place so that's why we came early because in an hour it'll be packed but anyway so let's go and see people are eating already well already it's almost 12 right anyway so it's a line here but the line is not as big uh, we passed by here on sunday and people were standing outside you know long lines so we're lucky here anyway so this is where you wash your hands uh, which i just did and uh, yeah and then how do we do it let's grab some food and then we get rice here to have some fried fish here we're frying fish not sure and I, we, have, we, st we do have to wait a little bit but it's not so bad all right so this is the, the rice check it out come closer see there's a ton of rice <laughs> and you need to help yourself too so however much rice you want me i'm quite a big rice eater so i'll take a portion and then and check it out what we have all right so there's different kinds of chicken and fish fried and i don't know what these are they're, 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 they look very very crispy fried we have some potatoes here some ikambilis maybe there's some tofu option, aubergine, I think there's some fish, chicken, different kinds of chicken, prawns, fish balls, well, not going to mention every every single uh, menu, every single dish they have, they have lots of beef dishes of course, they have uh, chicken, some kind of crabs, no, some kind of a shellfish, fish, see all kinds of great looking food and snail curry which I probably will not have uh, this, these are these are like lost eggs and different veggies these are probably fish no chicken balls wow she this is uh, even for vegetarians or vegans this is also some tofu and some cauliflower broccoli this is something that I don't know what it, it, it actually looks like it's um, what's it called uh, maybe papaya salad but that's I see this might be actually even be a little bit of Thai influence here that we know from the north or right, anyway so I'll, I'll grab some food now and then I'll show you all right yeah those are the chicken peas they're very popular but I'm not going for them broccoli and cauliflower yep and carrots and onion so you also can take take away yes. bunkus Ah. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a grand buffet, I think. It really is, huh? So at the counter Bayaran, which means cash counter or paying counter, right? Uh, you pay before you actually go to eat, so it's all very easy. We got a whole bunch of foods and you know, I got a big plate of rice with uh, some kind of a green chili chicken I got some sambal on the on the side I got some tofu and some veggies and some broccoli uh, cauliflower on and and here I have some what I think is fish uh, no no these are quail eggs what am I saying uh, quail eggs yeah and we have some uh, fish dish with some lady fingers then of course my, my son's favorite uh, just a chicken curry it doesn't matter if it's an Indian or a or a Malay curry right it's 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 that you, you love to eat you know he does not mind eating sp spicy food right and then so this is my wife's plate which has some kind of a, a, a some pedas tofu where you of course lots of rice and some some veggies some uh, I think this is actually papaya salad I'm not sure some aubergines some uh, eggplant and also some uh, spicy sauce 
So what's, what's, what's it called? Sambal. Sambal. What, what, what else did you say? Spicy sambal. sauce. No, no, but sambal something else. Sambal. Something extra spicy. Extra. Yeah, I'm not sure. And my daughter, just some vegetables and some rice. And she wants some chicken too. And yeah, but she did not choose when she was inside. So I have to get her some more. Chicken now. All right, we'll give you a little bit of chicken, each of us, right? Anyway, so let's, let's dig in, guys. And Yay. yeah, we don't really know the names of, of the dishes because yeah, you forget them, right? But I'll, yeah, we'll try it and tell you if it was good. But actually, see now, it's 12 and there's more and more people coming. It's filling up. It reminds me a lot of that one place we went to when we were in uh, Kuala Terengganu. Although this is kind of like even cooler. And yeah, it's not so full yet. So lucky us. Nice. Let's dig in. Bismillah. How do I start? It's actually, it's again, it's a pretty large portion. I like it when you, you know, when you get to, you know, chew, take your own rice, you know, and then some, some place they give you very little rice, and very little whatever. And here you can help yourself. It's not, it actually, for all of this, we paid like 45 ringgit, so that's 10 bucks. It's actually less than 10 bucks, but let's call it 10 bucks, right? No, it's about 10 bucks, 10, 10 US dollars for those of you who don't understand. Anyway, let's try. So, I don't know what this is called, but I think this is a green chili chicken. Let's call it that. Let's mix it up, mix up a little bit. Just try the rice, try some of that chili sauce and see if it's spicy. Mmm. I'm liking it. It's a little spicy. I mean, not too spicy. I mean, for some people it would be too spicy, but it's incredibly good. I like it. Oh. I have a new favorite dish actually, and I don't know what it's what it's called. We call it ayam green chili. What's green in green in Malay? We don't know. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, I have to have, take another bite from that. Hmm, it's really good. Uh, this is like you gotta try this after. Anyway, let's try some of the chicken and basically the main meal. Ah, uh, see, quite a big. It's a large piece of chicken, you know. It's like that's like half a breast or whatever so if you consider what we paid for this all and, uh, a few whole pieces of chicken and uh, a whole piece of, uh, of rice and uh, yeah it's not a bad deal 45 ringgit plus that uh, you, you know get um, free air kosong I'm not sure if it's air kosong or ice kosong I used to say ice kosong which is ice, you know, natural ice, but air kosong is natural water. It has ice in it and water, so I don't know. Anyway, let's try that chicken. Mm, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. This is so incredibly good. This might be my new favorite Malaysian dish. I hope it's a Malaysian dish. Really good. Really, 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 really good. Can't believe I never had this. Oh, wow. you guys, you okay with your food? Is it good? Mm -hmm. huh? How about yours? Unbelievable, delicious. It is unbelievable. Uh, uh, your food too. Uh, so what? What you you having some some tofu with some sambal there and rice? And a big the, bite. Uh, eggplant. Yeah, yeah, just try that. So the spectators can see it. Good, unbelievably good. Some, yeah, the aubergines look good. How about spiciness of the food? Don't you rate that? Is it very spicy? I mean, from one to ten? I made it more spicy. Because of the sambal, it's more spicy, of course. How would you rate generally the food? Well, not all dishes are spicy, right? So you can't say that really. Not so spicy. No. A little bit. No. But good. Very, Very good. good. Yeah. How about your food, Vincent? It's awesome. All right. See how he does it? He's like a professional now, eating with his hands, dissecting the chicken, or using only the right hand, as he knows how to do. That's my son. Anyway. So what do you have? Uh, uh, try, try that quail egg actually, just like that. Mm. Mm. 
yeah, this is very good. It's a little bit like sweet, sweet sauce. Yeah, this is great, that sauce. It's a bit chilly, a bit sweet. Some faint bitterness, but I can't really say that. But I'm surely liking that. A little egg, it's not cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh guys, you want to come here and eat here. They don't pay me for saying that. Mm. Asparagus. This tofu dish with the, with the vegetables has also a little bit of sauce that comes with itself. Which is a, <coughs> which is a light sauce, but you know, still has spices, but it's not spicy at all. It's more like uh, what you would think of Chinese food, maybe. The influence. If you think about Malaysian food being mainly curries, which is not true. But uh, yeah, it's good. And here we have the tofu. See, you can squeeze that. Oh, it's very nice, like very soft, very silky. Try a bit of that with rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, I love this tofu. It's very good. By the way, we should take some of the some of the tofu with, with the sambal actually. We should try some of the sambal, the spicy sauce. Which is quite spicy, you know, it's all, all you know pure pure chilies, maybe some ginger, maybe some garlic, but you know that's a, that's a real deal. That's a, the kick, the kick in the butt, right? Then we should try some of that. Very good. But that chicken, let's call it the green chicken chili, grilled green chili chicken. It's like, yeah, that's like the new dish. The, the recommended dish, number one. Although, of course, I feel sorry for the chickens. You could have the same thing maybe with tofu. The same. We got this this fish dish. Uh, let me. Uh, we got some part of, 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 of rice left here, so it's just oh well. The lady finger. We have to first try that. Always the lady fingers. Ladies first, right? Mm. Mm. This is not always the same. It's not. It's always different. Sometimes you can bite it, chew it properly, or other other times like now, just um, bite it and eat the inside. Which has like the little seeds in them. Yeah, fair enough. It's difficult to cook these. I tried to cook these, but. I didn't succeed really. Anyway, let's try some Yorkshire fish. Uh, let's try some of that fish. You can have a, a lady if you want. I'll take, I'll take a piece of that fish, which is, I'm gonna show you this. Also quite a piece of fish, you know. And it's like fish, fish, you know, like no bones, you know, like amazing fish, all right. Pour some of that gravy on it. Oops. Give some of them of it to my wife. Oh, I'll try this now. Oh, now she's not on vegetarian anymore. Anyway, let's try the fish. Try the fish with 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 some rice right away. Mmm. All right. It's all food is very good. So probably that chicken is probably just just. The way it goes here, right? No, but I like the fish, you know? Mm. 
liking it very much. I do not know what kind of fish. I think it's not tuna, but he's a, it's like a, a, a fish with little bones, not so many bones, with a lot of meat, so. And it has a little bit of that tuna fish taste. Uh, but uh, it could be natural, guys. But you come and try it yourselves. Really good. Yeah, I like it. Is it, is it tuna? Not sure. Oh. It's some kind of a big fish. I mean, it has, has no bones, so it's just like gigantic bones. Like the ones you don't swallow, you can't swallow. Maybe it's tuna. It does not have the... the it's, it is good, yeah. It's not like this, you know, the, some fish have lots of bones in them. It's like, oh my. Anyway, so, yeah, let's finish up with the meal. I'm not kidding. That is a, a super plate of food. You want some more chicken? Some more chicken? Yeah? Yeah? Guys, nice, what a great dish. Now I'm mixing it all up, you know. Just the way you always said I shouldn't be doing it. I'm keeping the flavors on each side, right? Like the eggs, little quail eggs. Try some of the papaya salad if it's if this actually is a papaya salad. This is papaya, right? Is it? I think it is. I think so. It's good. It's a bit, really it, has, it is a little bit sour, a little bit sweet, a little bit savory, a little bit spicy. and a little bit spicy because it's all, all full of chili. Yeah, but, but it's not like spicy. Thailand spicy. It's, it's it's like Malaysia spicy, which is not quite Thailand spicy. But yeah, what an awesome meal. Are you doing okay, dude? Huh? <laughs> All right. Guys, well, uh, we're still fighting here. We will be, we will finish it. And we'll walk out of here happier than when we were when we walked in. And it's all in the, in the restaurant, Geracodua Pulutiga. And which I can only recommend you to come. And I tell you, don't come on the weekends because there are lots of people. If you do come, come early. But yeah, so during the week, now it's Wednesday. It's not so bad. I mean, it's still okay. When we walk by on Sunday, oh, there's no seating. There's, but it was like, like 1 o'clock or 1.30. So anyway, yeah. And try the... Try this great uh, extra sambal. Mm. It's a little bit spicy, but it has a certain kick to it. I mean, I like spicy, right? Anyway, so we'll finish that. Uh, maybe we'll grab a dessert later, but not right now. I'm already feeling quite a meal. Okay, guys. All right, see this place is actually open from 10 in the morning, pagi, to 10 malam in the evening. And you can also get some, you know, your tetanics, your drinks, your asam boy, your coconut, your fruits. But I'm totally full, you know. Also here they make you some health benefits of pineapple, some pineapple juice, like these, these white folks over there who got... <laughs> Who got who got uh, got an, uh, a pineapple juice? Right? Anyway, so it was incredibly good. I mean, I'm not just saying that, and I hardly ever say that, right? By the way, the azan has just started, so maybe. Of course, you can also get burgers here, but I think probably not now. Probably in the afternoon or in the evening. So special burgers, it seems they're a bit more expensive than your average uh, Romilly burger, but they do look a little bit different. But yeah, not, not, not now. Hey, of course, Kampung Baru is a pretty cool place. I'll show you a little bit more of it, I think. Uh, you know, like Kampung, 
meaning village, for those of you who don't know, and Baru or whatever, uh, the name of that village, or, and that is in the middle of Kuala Lumpur, the big city of Kuala Lumpur, and still you have a little, but maybe not here at the, at the, at the main road, a little bit of the, of a Kampung feeling. Uh, but check it out, see, there is uh, the Petronas Towers are right there, so KLCC Park and everything, so it is kind of weird, but I like it. And it's very, it's, it's, it's very close to where we're staying. We're staying at the uh, Majid India, which is also a very cool area, actually. So I'm liking this, this stay in Kuala Lumpur so far. I, maybe it's my favorite stay so far. Huh? What, the name of the restaurant? Yeah. That means it's open 23 hours or what? Ah, that's, 23. Oh, that's what it means. Gua Pulu Tiga means 23. Okay, well, there Gera you go. Means I still don't know. <laughs> Gera, whatever. Don't worry about it, I'll find out. Don't worry about, us, uh, about that, guys. Uh, next time we're in Malaysia, we will learn better Bahasa Malayu. That for sure. And you speak a little bit, but like really a little bit, you know, not like other languages. And it's appreciated. And uh, some people, you know, if you're somewhere outside in in the compounds, they don't speak English, and then it's it's actually quite helpful to know a bit of the language, and it's 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 a fairly easy. It's not like like Chinese or something very difficult, you know. So you, you I guess you can, right? What that means? These, these are like original compound houses, and there there are actually people living in them. I mean, of course, on the other side, where well, there's like a road, like a like a highway in between, and but. And then you're, you're like in super Manhattan, like uh, Malaysia, but uh, Kuala Lumpur. But this, see, this, this house is very cool. It's like you see in, in the kampungs, you know. So, I don't know what the deal is here. So maybe they have, they bought these houses a long time ago. And maybe, maybe some law forbids the city to destroy this. I don't know. And then I hear again, I hear voices that tell me that this is going to be, you know, flattened. And I hope not. I, I hope... I hope this stays for a long, long time. But yeah, who knows, right? Inshallah. Donna's opinion on that food, like from one to ten. Oh. It's, no, it's in the top ten. What do you think? In Cer Malaysia. Certainly in the top ten. In the top ten of all the foods we've had in Malaysia, right? You didn't have that. You didn't try that I chicken don't know if chili. It's <laughs> number one? No, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's so, somewhere up there. It's there. one of the best foods we ever had. I mean, there's great food in Malaysia, so it's a bit hard, you know. Some of the best food in Kuala Lumpur. Some of the best food definitely in Kuala Lumpur. I did like the eastern coast, the the Telanganu, the Kelantan foods, even the Bahang foods. But was Lazan starting again? Not sure. Anyway, guys, uh, that's us. For, uh, uh, that's all from us from Kuala Lumpur, from Kampung Baru, and. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes. <laughs>